Hi, and welcome to NC Library's tutorial, How to Identify and Find OER. Now that you've learned what OER are and why they are important, it's time to take a closer look at how to find and identify OER so that you can adopt or adapt OER into your teaching. Recall that OER are material that you use to teach, learn, or conduct research with, which are free from common copyright restrictions. Since OER can basically be anything you use in the process of teaching and learning, the key to identifying OER is to determine whether or not the material that you are interested in using is free from common copyright restrictions. Under Canadian copyright law, every original literary, dramatic, musical, and artistic work is subject to copyright protection so long as they were created in Canada or another treaty country under the Berne Convention. This means that almost all of the material that you use for teaching or learning will be covered by copyright. Under Fair Dealing in Canada, you are free to do a limited amount of copying of a copyrighted material for the purposes of research, private study, as well as education. But you cannot copy large amounts of a particular work or adapt the work without first seeking permission from the copyright holder. There are, however, resources that you can use that are free from common copyright restrictions. These resources are material under the public domain and material that has been licensed under the Creative Commons. Let's take a closer look at each of these two concepts separately. In Canada, works enter the public domain and are no longer subject to copyright restrictions 70 years after the death of the author. These works can be treated as an OER, so you can make copies and or adapt these works without seeking permission from the publisher. If you wish to identify whether or not a resource is in the public domain, you may have to do some sleuthing. The first thing you need to do is to determine the date of publication. If it has been longer than 70 years since it was first published, it may be in the public domain. You would then need to check if the author is still alive or if they have died, and if so, how long ago they passed away. Wikipedia is often a good resource to determine this information. You can always contact NC Libraries, however, for help in determining if a particular resource falls under the public domain. A Creative Commons license can be placed on a resource by the copyright holder in order to permit the resource to be used in ways that traditional copyright would not allow. One of the goals of the Creative Commons is to increase the amount of openly licensed creativity in the Commons, the body of work freely available for legal use, sharing, repurposing, and remixing. There are seven different license types. Some are more permissive than others. They are the CC BY license. This license allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or format, so long as attribution is given to the creator. CC by SA. This license allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or format, so long as attribution is given to the creator. The license allows for commercial use. If you remix, adapt, or build upon the material, you must license the modified material under identical term. The CC by NC license. This license allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or format for non-commercial purposes only, and only so long as attribution is given to the creator. The CC by NCSA license. This license allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium or format for non-commercial purposes only, and only so long as attribution is given to the creator. If you remix, adapt, or build upon the material, you must license the modified material under identical terms. The CC by ND license. This license allows reusers to copy and distribute the material in any medium or format in unadapted form only, and only so long as attribution is given to the creator. This license allows for commercial use. The CC by NC ND license. This license allows reusers to copy and distribute the material in any medium or format in an unadapted form only, for non-commercial purposes only, and only so long as attribution is given to the creator. And the CC0 license is a public dedication tool which allows creators to give up their copyright and put their works into the worldwide public domain. CC0 allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon their material in any medium or format with no conditions. It is worth noting that items licensed under the CC by ND and the CC by NC ND licenses are not OER because you cannot adapt the original material. 
They are open access materials, however, so you are free to use them in their unaltered form for classroom use. You can identify OER resources in the Creative Commons by looking for the license and its allowable uses. These licenses can be found next to the author info or in the about or terms of use section of a website. If you have problems determining if a resource that you are interested in has a Creative Commons license, or if you are unsure of what that license allows you to do, please do not hesitate to contact NC Libraries for assistance. Now that you can identify if a resource is in the public domain or if it has a Creative Commons license, it is time to learn where to find these resources. Most, but not all, OER resources, especially resources with a Creative Commons license, exist on the internet. If you were to do a search for a topic, let's say algebra, and search through all the results, you might find a resource that is helpful, but it probably won't be an OER. Rather than using a general search engine to locate OER, you are better off looking in many of the OER repositories that exist to make finding OER easier. Detailed information about these repositories can be found on NC Libraries OER Guide. To find this guide from the NC Libraries homepage, just click on Faculty Staff Services, and then OER, and then find OER by subject for a list of relevant OER repositories. Generally, there are repositories that help you find textbooks and repositories that help you find teaching materials. If you are interested in OER textbooks, you might want to consult the Open Textbook Library or eCampus Ontario or BC Campus Open Education for Canadian content. If you are interested in supplementary teaching OER, then you may want to consult the OER Commons Repository or Merlot. If you try these resources and still can't find what you are looking for, don't despair. Contact NC Libraries and we can help you to expand your search in order to hopefully find what you are looking for. To recap, both items in the public domain and items with a Creative Commons license can be defined as OER, so long as they are both being used for educational purposes. You can identify if something is in the public domain by researching the death date of the original creator. You can identify if something is in the Creative Commons by looking for the license. You can easily find OER by searching through OER repositories. For a detailed list of OER repositories, check out the following website. In our next OER tutorial, we'll take a closer look at the process of adopting, adapting, or creating OER for use in the classroom at Niagara College. Again, if you have any comments or questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Our email address is library at niagaracollege.ca.